Hello students, welcome ulit sa online tutorial natin. Once again, maraming salamat sa mga nag-avail no? or nag-join sa uh, tutorial membership natin dito sa YouTube channel natin. So, yun, continue tayo. Problem number 15. So, the force F daw has a magnitude of 22 kilonewton and is directed from A to B as shown. As show, uh, hindi na natanggal ko ata yung N. Determine the moment produced by the force F about the y-axis. And then compute the moment produced by the force F about the z-axis. So again, madali lang to know. It's just a matter of determining what are the forces that will cause the moments. And then what are these forces? Yun bang mga components ba? Ano ba yung components? So our parent or our parent. Our uh, resultant force is actually F. So let's break it down into components. Now notice this is actually a 3D no? representation. Meron tayong z-axis vertical, x-axis, and then you have the y-axis. And then it so happen um, from A to B, rep, uh, actually meron tayong tatlong coordinates. We have the z-axis coordinate equal to 30, uh, x-axis coordinate na 6, and then uh, y-axis coordinate na equal to 5. Not coordinate, but sorry, but distance pala. So solve natin muna yung mga components. So solve natin ang fx. Basically, the component, no? Uh, x component of the force. Now, to solve for the x component of the force, we will actually use ratio and proportion. First is... We need to determine the total length, no? Total length of the force. In this case, yung total length from the figure, ha? From the figure. So, yan yung denominator sa ratio natin. Kailangan kasi natin ang ratio. So, yan yung denominator. So, ang denominator will be the total length of this one. So, you can use Pythagorean theorem, no? Square root lang. Now, since tatlo yan, that, I mean, tatlong axis tayo, tatlong dimension, you have square root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared. So, that's square root of 5 squared plus 6 squared and then plus 30 squared. Okay? Now, since I want to solve for x, then ang numerator ko dapat yung distance din ng x. Notice dito, ang x is actually this distance. So, what is the distance parallel to x-axis? Ito din, yung 6 meters. Ha? Huh? So, I hope okay tayo dyan. So, ito yung ratio natin. I-multiply lang natin to sa resultant load F which is equal to 22. So, ito yung x component. Okay? Now, again, ang y component naman, simple lang, no? So, for the y component, ang gagawin lang natin is, same pa din, uh, copyahin lang natin to, but, ibay natin. So, ang numerator, ito, ang numerator will be the y distance, or yung distance parallel to the y-axis. So, ang y-axis natin is ito, pag ganito. So, ang distance parallel to the y-axis is itong 5, you know, 5 meters. So, 5. Yan. So, meron tayong Fy. And then, ang Z naman, ang Z, same pa din, uh, this will be Fz. But, instead of 5, kunin natin yung distance parallel to the Z axis. In this case, that's 30. So, 30. So, yan. Meron tayong mga components. Very easy. Next, ang tanong sa problem, ano daw ang moment, uh, ang, ano daw ang moment cost produced by the force F about the y-axis? Take note, if we are summing up moments about the y-axis, what will rotate or what the forces, the components that will rotate or can rotate is only the z and x axis. So, check natin yung, I mean, z and x component. Now, ang z component, kung mapapansin mo, ang z component about the y axis. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Notice, ang z component actually coincides with the y axis. Diba? Tingnan nyo, ang z component, ito, itong dash line ba? Itong dash line na to, nandyan kasi nakadikit yung Z component. It so happened that it intersects Y axis. So, wala. Hindi pwede. N next, let's try to look at the X component. Now, ang X component, baka isipin nyo no, na ang X component is itong nasa ibaba. Kasi ito yung dash line. Actually, although yan yung dash line, yan yung nasa ibaba, ang, ang origin kasi ng force is nandito sa itaas. Therefore, dapat yung X component natin should be like this. Nandito sa itaas, dapat magsimula. But, parallel to the x-axis. So, dapat nandyan. So, meaning, it does not coincide with the y-axis. So, meaning, we can actually have a rotation. Tapos, ang moment arm ng, ang distance, no, nito is actually 30 meters from the y-axis. So, meaning, ang moment pala natin, m, ano yan? my natin, is simply equal to fx, which is, yan yung magro-rotate, but ang moment arm is 30. Yan. So, that's 127.74. That's actually letter B. Okay, sir, how about the uh, how about the 
y-axis. Again, hindi magro-rotate ang y-axis kasi in the first place, we are trying to solve for the moment about sa y-axis. So, hindi magro-rotate yung y-component. Eh? So, fy. Uh, huwag nyo nalang i-try no? Hindi yan magro-rotate yung fy. Next, uh, we'll try to solve for the moment about the z-axis. So, ang moment about sa z-axis will only be caused by the x and y component. Kaso nga lang, we need to check kung ang x and y, baka kasi nag-intersect siya sa z. Ang x component, nandito pa din. Ang x component, nandito pa din. Ang z, nandito lang. Okay, bali. If I will try to draw, no? I-draw natin yung x component. Bali, ganito yan, ha? Ganito. So, tapos ito yung dash line. Bali. Dash line, tapos nandito yung force, no? Naka-inclined. So, actually, nandito yung mga components. Ito, this is the... Itong pababa, yan yung Z component. And then, ito, meron tayong ganito. Parallel to the X-axis, yan yung X component. And then, we have the Y. Asan ba yung Y natin? Ah, ito. Yung Y pa ganito. Parallel to the Y component. Yan, ha? So, again, label natin. This is Z. This is X. This is Y. Ito yung FZ, ito yung, ano not FZ, sorry. Yan yung FY pala, that's FY kasi parallel sa y-axis. Ito naman yung FZ kasi parallel sa z-axis. Ito naman ang FX, parallel sa x-axis. Ngayon, we want to solve for the moment about the z-axis. What will rotate about the z-axis the z -axis will only be FX and FY. Kaso nga lang, notice from the figure, FY actually will intersect the z-axis. Meaning, walang moment ng FY. So, FX will only rotate. Ano yung distance ng FX from the z-axis? Ito. Now, that's actually equal to, look at the figure. Ay, sorry. And, so, that's actually 18. Yung distance na yan, that's actually 18. Oh, tama, 18. Oh, tama, 18 lang. Okay. Sige, so, diretso natin. So, M, ano yun? MZ is actually FX times 18. So, that's 76.645. Check down natin. 76.645 or letter B. Okay. So, I hope okay tayo dyan ha. So, again, ang, paano ba to? Ang tricky part lang dito is actually ang pag-solve. Ito, madali lang to. Ito. Dapat alam mo kung ano yung moment na mag-rotate. Just remember, no? If you want to, to sum up moments about a certain axis, the other coordinates, yun yung magro-rotate. For example, yung Y, only X and Z ang magro-rotate. Kung Z naman, only X and Y ang magro-rotate. Just check kung ang component intersects. So, kasi nag-intersect, although magro-rotate, zero kasi ang moment arm. So, wala din. Okay? Kagaya nito, sa MY, it so happen kasi na ang Z, FZ, intersects Y axis. Tinan nyo dito sa figure natin. Diba? Nag-intersect siya. Ito yung FZ. Ito yung Y-axis. Diba? Nag-intersect. So, wala. Wala din siya. Hindi siya kasama sa sa equation natin. Sige. So, I think yan lang, no? Uh, again, if you have any questions, clarifications, or even corrections, please do not hesitate to comment down below. Maraming salamat sa panagin.